Um, welcome to the Jenkins Governance Meeting. We're recording today. It is the 8th of September, 2021. We abide by the Jenkins Code of Conduct. Uh, let's share that screen and take a look at the proposed agenda. Here's the agenda proposal. Any things that need to be added to the agenda before we begin working through the agenda? There was one thing I left on the notes in the last meeting. Sorry, am I muted? It says Zoom says I'm muted. Um, I said I postponed talking about the commercial support list. Uh, I think we can postpone talking about it again, but we can put it at the bottom list and see what happens. Okay, great. Good. Okay, thanks. And I added something since I did the initial draft. Oleg had suggested he was wondering if we might consider moving the meeting one hour later to make it easier for him to attend. Uh, for me, it's going to be very late, uh, one hour later. Okay, so yeah, the same, so the same here. Yeah. Ah, okay, I good. I think Uli said the same thing last time we asked, but I don't, he's not here to say anything. Okay, so topic for discussion. We'll discuss it when we get there. I think it sounds like the answer is that's not a great time for others. Okay, any other topics we need to add? Okay, so news, news, the Jenkins Project Confluence instance was attacked. We've blogged about it. We blocked the releases. We reset user passwords. Investigation is continuing, but releases are now allowed, although Tim Jacome reports that the continuous delivery releases through JEP 229 are not yet working, so it needs more investigation. Something to add here, um, in the current state, Confluence will not be back. Um, so we we failed to maintain it correctly in the past and I don't want to, to bring that service back. So I'm currently investigating um, options because that instance did contain valuable information. Most, I mean, we already migrated a lot of information to the to the plugins to the git repositories, but um, Confluence you contain a lot of information. We so at the moment, sorry? We only partially did it. We only partially did it through. Um, so, so in the current, yeah. What I was what I was talking with Mark in the earlier chats about this is I was thinking we could spin it up on a, on a private VM somewhere that doesn't have internet access and then just run it through the exact same code that we do the migration thing with. So it does all the trimming of the other stuff we don't care about, dump a bunch of uh, ASCII doc files, and then commit it to a Git repo. Um, that handles the plugin side, the non-plugin side. Um, we could do pretty much the same thing, but we just have to make sure we don't release anything that's secure, that was locked down for security reasons. But that was my thinking. So, um, so first, I already copy uh, the machine on a different machine, so it's mm -hmm. already uh, we already have a backup both for the okay. database and for the machine. So I'm currently working on that um, temporary machine, which I would like to delete as soon as possible. I tried two other options in my case. I, ex I explore um, dumping, uh, exporting everything to HTML files. Mm -hmm. um, so I have them on my machine at the moment. So the only thing is. The, the rendering is not as nice as um, on Confluence. That's the first thing. And second thing, the URL change. So for example, if you go to Confluence, you will not see a .html and stuff like that. And for some reason, when you dump, uh, when you export everything to HTML, it also introduce some random number in URL. So that's one of the option. Another option that I'm currently um, looking at to see how feasible it is, would be to just deploy um, to use Confluence Cloud um, because the reason why we can't use Jira Cloud is because of the limit on who has access to it. But in this case, we could just consider that maybe five or 10 people have right access to Confluence Cloud. I already have a license for it um, because I did some experimentation with Atlas and Clouds um, uh, within the year. Um, so that would be another option. I, I don't, I'm against that option. I'm minus one on there. Okay. I do not think we should deploy Confluence again. It was a pain to maintain, it was a pain to keep spam out. I don't think we want to ever have it running again. Uh, I'm just saying Confluence Cloud, we don't, that's a SaaS option. We don't, we don't maintain it. I know, but I don't, okay. I think we already have enough 
pieces. We don't need more pieces. Yeah, uh, true. My, 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 my plan was just to have a read on the confluence cloud. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you're more than welcome to hand the, any of this off to want to me because I, I it is interesting to me. So I, I don't mind doing okay. it if you have other things to do. Okay, I can I can give you access to the machine then. Uh, I'll add your SSH key there and we can see together after this call. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so Olivier and Gavin, We'll work together on alternatives for what do we do to get the to not lose the data that's in the Confluence server without ever bringing back a Confluence server. Great, thank you. All right, next topic was the Jenkins 2.303.2. The next LTS is has been delayed by two weeks. Agreed with the security officer, the release officer, and others, and it will include security fixes. So the extra two weeks will give us some time to assure that they're in there, et cetera. And then 2.310 has been skipped due to the Confluence outage um, or the Confluence instance issue. And I'm assuming Jenkins 2.311 next week, though we may have it this week, depending on so on that topic, we still have access to the container um, that generated the oh, file okay. for the version 2.310. Uh, so we may manually finish the release, or we can just trigger a new weekly release. I think both are fine to me. OK. So Any objections far. at the board level, Gavin, from you or from Evelina, if we were to call the 2.310 weekly release a loss and just say we're not going to do it, is that OK? Uh, you're muted, uh, yeah, no, no objection from me. So, so just for for the for the context, I already finished um, manual releases um, in the past. I mean, I maybe I did two once or two. Uh, they were so. Yeah, I'm pretty confident to to finish it as long as we keep the container running. I I don't think it matters. I mean, the version numbers never. At one point, they were like you could say this is 52 weeks ago. But really, honestly, the version numbers are not absolute enough for us to ever make that distinction. So it doesn't matter. If we want to burn 3.10, that's fine. 3.11, either way. Yeah. Great. So you've got the flexibility, Olivier, to make the call, burn it or don't burn it. Either is fine. OK. I'll end up that. Great. Thank you. Uh, next topic, I, I put this on. Gavin, did you want to share hosting status, how it's going? Do we need to enlist additional help, et cetera? Uh, it wouldn't hurt to have more people. It's not really that big a deal. Uh, I haven't really done it in a week because of the confidence issue. I haven't touched anything to do with releases. Um, but generally, it looks like there's not a lot of requests that come in. Uh, I have like six I haven't dealt with yet. Uh, Tim is helping with, actually, I think Tim and Mark are helping with the actual uh, RPU uh, repository, which is probably the bigger, more complex one. Um, the actual initial hosting requests are pretty simple. Uh, there's one, so far there's one plugin I kind of want to just say no to, and I don't know why I shouldn't, but I kind of just keep putting it off. Uh, essentially, this user wants to add a Java applet and a new TCP port to Jenkins as a plugin and I kind of just want to say, I don't think this is a good safe thing for the community. You could have it for your own personal use, that's fine. But I think I want to deny it from, so. And then uh, Daniel did reach out and say there are some tooling he can run for scans. So he may or may not start doing that. I don't know. I'm not totally worried about, I'm just gonna you know keep plugging away, try to do my best where I can. I would like to move it all into, like I said in the mail list, eventually I would like to see hosting and GitHub access, all that as pull requests. So we have that all managed, we have recorded, we have a history. Because right now we have no idea who has access to what repos. Uh, 
No, it's tracking, uh, it's accessing Artifactory access, not GitHub access. Right. It's no GitHub. Um, yeah, right. And it's it's really hosting partially, right? So it's tracking it's tracking one piece of a hosting request because a hosting request is more than just artifactory access. It's also GitHub access. It comes in as a Jira request. Then it does a bunch of checking. Then uh, it when it gets approved, it, it forks the repo, creates the RPU request. It's just there's a lot of moving parts, and I want to reduce that. And I, you know, for that's one side I want to reduce. And then the other side is, I know we've had trouble when someone says, I want to take over this thing. And we're like, okay, uh, well, you have to do this step and this step, and this person has to do this one, and this person has to do this one. And it gets really complicated. And I kind of just want to make it all pull requests so that one person can improve it and it's all done. But I don't see that happening in time It's just one of the things I'd love to do. I like it. Okay. Great. Anything else that you wanted to share there, Gavin, in terms of hosting? Nope. Uh, I guess I'll start approving them again now that we're not fully green lit, but we're greenish. Right. We're we're no longer we're not no longer hard red. Yeah. Okay. Like a, a weird yellowy vomit green thing. Oh, oh, thank you. That was a lovely image. My my day has just started. You're well. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Elections. Let's go to something more positive. Olivier. So um, I hope that you that you read uh, my my suggestion. So the idea is to use this course as a place to submit um, nomination and also to record people. I mean, to register people who are interested to participate to the election. I explain everything in the proposal here. So that that's basically the main the main change that would happen compared to last year. So no Google form or no other option. So that, yeah, that's something that I would like to improve. I did not receive feedback, um, except that Gavin and Oleg. So I guess people are fine with that proposal. So what I would like to do for the next step, my, plan, my, my initial plan was to start promoting the new election uh, starting by for tomorrow, but I think I would need some time to write a blog post. Um, so yeah, if, if people are fine with the, 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 the timeline, I will maybe just delay everything for by one week uh, or yeah, maybe several days. So yeah, so the, the most important thing is we have enough time to collect nomination and, um, and to collect um, and to register. Uh, participants to the election. So, so Olivier, one thing that wasn't immediately clear to me is sending a message to the group election committee. So I can see the group here. How do okay. I send a message to the group? Is there some action I do here on? So that's interesting. Can you go up? So oh. I guess there is a permission that I have oh, to request because... here. No, normally, so let me double check. Normally, that's something that I tested with Timian. But I guess he has an access, so let me yeah, double check. So that's so if I in order to in order to subscribe to vote, I would no, no, go, normally yeah no, normally if you are in the group I go here um, and I would click community. this button to request or in my but case, ne, yeah but next next to that button you should see a message but I can fix the permission for tomorrow. Ah okay so so I will go there, I will click here and here there will be a button that says yeah. send a message to this group so if if, if you go to the group um voters selection voters i think that's the name that I used. okay election voters which is here all right um i know that's the same because i disable uh, the ability for people to notify uh, members of this group so yeah this is a, a permission issue that we can um, fix tomorrow mark can you write a reply on that thread on which thread? On the, the previous voters? one, just says the the one that this yes, thread that one. I uh, just write a like a comment saying uh, I went to try to message this group and I don't have permission. That way, if anyone else has the same problem, they can see it and reminds Olivia or I to fix it later. Uh, like it was election committee group, right? E -E group but there was no 
button to send a message. There was a button to request a join, but not to send a message. So is that what you're suggesting, Gavin? Yeah, more or less, yeah. Great, okay. Excellent. Okay, so uh, I read, oh, go ahead. On, on the blog announcement idea and earlier the news, I made it a lot easier on Jenkins IO to turn on commenting. Um, I was just thinking, about, you know, this reminded me. So essentially you can just uh, say discourse true and it'll enable commenting. You don't have to create a topic and link it and everything else with that before, which I think Mark and I looked at it. looks pretty good. Yeah, and I was I was thoroughly impressed. The uh, the <laughs> the change means I can reference discourse and it will create a thread automatically if there yeah. isn't one. So the, the it's a, the example is here on this most recent blog post. When we look at the bottom of it, discuss one reply. There's a reply. I gotta go check. Yeah, I think, except I think the, the reply is just me making it listed. Well, except now there's no control here that lets me click it. So we may have some more work to do. I can't get there. Mm, yeah, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Right. Well, but the, uh, yeah, Mark, Mark, can you just quickly check the election uh, committee group? Sure. Here? Yes. Oh, yes, there it is. Message. And so now you can send a message. So now I could, I could send a nomination by typing it here. Oh, I exactly. nominate as such and such. Great. OK, yes. that, that's nice and easy. Super. And while you're here, maybe you can show how to join the election voter group. Oh, yes, I can do that, certainly. So election voter group here. Um, so I'm so currently in it. So I'm going to leave first. Yes. And now the way you join it is you click here. It appears and you click the join button in the top right hand corner and now I'm a member. Yes, and so what I will do at the end of the month, um, I will just export the email address of every people in this group. And then we'll use a tool, the same tool that we used last year and two years ago, which is a Condorcet voting system. And so invitation will be sent from that uh, application. So, and ballots then are likely sent in sent through Condorcet in October, or is that in? Or you'll, so, I guess you'll tell us the timeline in the blog post. Yeah. So my my, my proposition was to wait one month so people could take one month to nominate um, officer or board members, and during that timeline, during the same time, um, people would also re register. Um, to the vote to the, the voter group and then we would take one week to review the nomination and contact the different nominees to to double check with them if they are interested or not and after one week we would send an invitation. we would close the group um the voters nobody will, will be able to join and then we would we will invite every members of the group um, to participate to the election and, and during the nomination phase, I will nominate the names of nominees be visible or you'll just accept if you get the same nomination multiple times for a person. We can accept um, like, we, like we did last year, we can accept multiple nomination. Okay. We just look at the end of the month, how, who were the nominees. We double check that with them um, because we don't want to embarrass them or whatever. And, uh, ah, right. Okay, so so the nominees' names won't be public. The just the just the committee will know about the nominees until you've yeah. had a chance to qualify them to see are they are they interested and willing. And uh, yeah, and the reason why the group of um, reviewer election committee group is small is because we only have person there um, who are not interested to renew uh, who will not participate to the election. Um, so for example, Gavin has a mandate for one, one more year. Mm -hmm. um, I think Evelina as well. So that's why they are in the group. Great. 
All right. Any other any other questions or concerns with regard to elections? Okay, so then I guess the next step for me is to uh, write a blog post and open a PR on Jenkins at your website. And once once the, the the blog post is ready, we officially we officially start the election period. Yeah, I wanted to just be sure I get a rec record for sure of of approvals. So, Gavin, you're okay with it? Yes. Uh, Evelina, you're okay with it? Hey, sorry, sure. I had a trouble with finding the unmute button. <laughs> I'm okay with it, yes. All right, excellent. And it's your proposal, but I think we should record your plus one. Olivia, you're okay with it? Yes. Yep. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Great. Okay, so proposal to the move meeting one hour later. I think this one needs to wait until Oleg's available and we we have a discussion. We can certainly discuss it another time. I would be interested to do it at another time, yeah, okay. and even another day. Oh, okay. Uh, Gavin, commercial support list, is there anything you want to do there, you want to discuss there? I, I want it, I just haven't pushed it. Uh, so essentially, I'm, I really want, like, you know, as someone who does a lot of support, I want to make sure that we have the companies that are offering commercial support, an easy way to offer it for users to find an easy way to find which one they want to pick. I just don't have a good solution for it. Um, maybe we just do a page on Jenkins.io and people manage it by pull requests. I don't know. I, th I think that um, the page on Jenkins that you manage by pull requests is the best one. My only concern is uh, every new company will try to put themselves at the top. As long as, as I... Not concerned as you don't do it. I can just see that, you know, there's fights like, I want to be higher than you. Right, so, and, and we, have, we actually have that, that exact condition already is a worry in this page right here, uh -huh. where right there's an there's an implied ordering here that that probably shouldn't be implied, but I don't know how to do a non-ordered page, right? Unless we randomize it, that's maybe that we want a solution is make it a like make it a metadata like what is it? A, yeah, we're YAML files, right, or whatever. So we have metadata, and then we just JavaScript render it and say it randomizes each time. That, that, I like that. That's actually yeah. a very creative solution. So. So, but I think you've got a valid point. If we don't have something like that, there's a, something implied by ordering in, in that we may not intend to imply. And we also have to define a rule uh, about when we can remove a name. Yeah. Because otherwise it's too easy to just put your company name there and, and have, I mean, and be listed for years. So this is something that we should review, I don't know, once a year. Or... Yeah, like I said, this is something I really want. I just, it's a bigger problem than just being like, yeah, can I get approval to do it? Right, right. So is is this a case for a Jenkins enhancement proposal? Or is this really outside of the realm of that kind of thing? I think I would be interested to, to, to see if there are company who really want that. Um, Mm. and we want to be listed there so, so maybe we can just I, maybe we can just invite them to a discussion yeah i would say i should reach out to the existing link that was on the wiki assuming we can get that list again um and then reach out to them and see if they want to be listed so still and if they do then proceed to find out what would be useful for them mm, right okay yeah because because there certainly are companies at least I think there are companies still that that are doing this all over the world. It's not not just one company kind of thing. So yeah, yeah good. There was like a dozen on, on the wiki page. It just was, well, it was four years out of date because no one could update it. Mm -hmm. so you can drop the word postpone because we started talking about it. Yes, very good. Okay. So I guess that's an action item for me to see if I can get around to reaching out. Although... It's not a high priority for me. Right, and, and certainly understood. And I think 
reaching out to others is much more value than in Jenkins enhancement proposal. I'm even going to just delete that. Yeah. Because I think oh, you've got. Yeah. I'll reach out and get some notes and then we can, I'll put it on the, on the community, on the community page and see what we get to. Cause I did start a topic about this. So. Right. Excellent. All right. Any other topics we should be discussing today? That sounds good. Okay, thanks everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording.